A report, Master. I can no longer detect Zelda Zora. Oh no, the plot prevents us from finding her. The moment the gate was destroyed, Zelda's presence disappeared from my readings. You can no longer search for her with your dowsing ability. Zelda's companion instructed you to meet with the Ancient One in the sealed grounds. The, this corresponds with the records in my memory. I propose that we travel to the sealed temple. Oh, I thought we are going to travel to the other place that old woman is in. Thanks, Five, for recabbing us. Sup, guys? Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we um, found Zelda and we got this really terrible item. And that is going to reflect into a bit of a theme with what's going on here. But first, let's talk to this guy. What? You made it inside? You mean to say there is a secret passage I did not know about? Why did you not tell me, bud? I was just about to give up and go home when I heard this huge crash. I rushed back to find that the, that the way had been cleared. I'm going to explore inside. I have to go back to the sealed ground soon, so it looks like I'm going to be busy. And this guy's going to the same place where we're going. Are we going to give him a lift? No, because that will kill our loft wing. Yay! Anyway, let's go back to the sky. Okay. So, um, the usual fare that what we do here is that we finish a temple, go back, get all the cubes, and do all the quests. But not this time, because even though the plot has been a little bare bones, and... Sorry about that cut. Anyway, even though the plot's been a little bare bones, it there is a bit of an urgency right now to get back to the sealed temple so i think we should do that instead because it'd be really awkward it's like oh no we need to rescue zelda and see the woman let's go find golden i mean goddess cubes instead this isn't persona 4 we should like progress with the plot when it's urgent instead of just like doing side quests we can do side quests when the plot um uh chills for a bit which is a good like 80 percent of the game seriously after this section there's like no plot for a very long time well there's a little bit but like there really isn't that much plot. I mean, I guess it's a Nintendo Zelda game. It's not really known for its intricate stories or anyway, but Skyward Sword is very noticeable. Wait, why did it just transition to a cutscene? Yes! Gross! Gruz is not doesn't appear that much, but when he does, it's so awesome. Gruz, thank you for stalking us. Thank you for being a deranged, upset Zelda-loving stalker. Cause I love you and I love seeing you. Ugh, rough landing. Why does he sound like the Goron? I think I might have broke something. Hey Link, seriously, did anyone teach you how to land without crash? <laughs> Whoa! I love his voice there. B -b birds Tiny birds? W -w 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 what are they? How did he get back so quick? How the hell did that Goron get back so quick? We were just there two seconds ago and we could fly. How did he get here? <laughs> did, did he like roll here like super? I guess it's like Majora's Mask where they're super fast. B -b 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 where am I? God, I love Cruz so much. He's just like that clueless elf that doesn't know what's going on. What's going on here? Ever since Zelda vanished, you've been zipping in and out of town in, in all a hurry. And we haven't visited you all at all. So I figured I'd tell you. You might leave me to Zelda, the rain stalker. But this is so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? It's wild because there's wild things. And what's with all these trees? There are so many. I love Gruz. Just give it to me straight. I can take it. Where are we? Is Zelda here? Stop. I'm going to keep shaking you and making your Wemo vibrate. It's kind of cool. What's the deal with this place? If there's supposed to be nothing below the clouds, what's all this? God, this is hurting my voice. My voice, my vocal cords are on fire right now. Jesus Christ. Wait, Link can talk? 
I love the pan out to the sky to to illustrate time has passed. That's never been done before. Oh, uh, whoa! <laughs> All the birds are on Groos. Uh, Groos reminds me of Android uh, 16 from uh, Dragon Ball Z. They're both like red-headed and birds seem to love them. If, is that like a Japanese myth or something? Or like some sort of mythology thing where redheads love birds? I don't know. <laughs> she, she's okay. Oh wow, that's so great. Duh -huh -huh. Hearing that is such a huge weight off my mind. You know, Link, it's sort of all right down here. Bow, meow, meow, meow. This place needs a name. A name fitting this rugged, adventurous wilderness. From now on, we'll call it Grooseland. No, wait, that's Nintendo Land. So let me see if I got this right. The old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is? I see, Rightling, thanks for getting me here. You've done a good job, you can head home. <laughs> they Gruz will handle the search for Zelda from here. Yup, I'll track her down, save her, and then give her a lift back to Skyloft. <laughs> then we can get back, I'll ask her if she wants to make our whole going out thing official. And then the two of us will get some quality time together, Lenny Face. Why isn't that bolded? Usually quality time together is bolded. Anyway, the point is your work here is done. I got it covered from here. Now, it's off to find that old lady you were talking about. See, I freaking love Gruz. Like... We haven't seen him in a while, but he appears, he just like steals the freaking show! And he's just hilarious with what's going on! It's hilarious, it's hilarious how hilarious he is. And I could have caught those birds there, but I, I forgot for some reason. Now which way is the seal temple? I believe it's this way, is it this way? Let's check our map, because we can do that. Nope, that's the wrong way. You know what, we're going to be lazy and just have a beacon tell us where to go. I can't seem to see- oh, there's the beacon. Anyway, so I know I've been like- you know what, I'm going to catch these bugs first. I know, I know I've been super positive and energetic about Gru showing up, but honestly, as I said earlier, um, this section of the game is very not good. I'm gonna get into more detail about, like, why it's, it's not good at all, what's going on here, but it, okay, but first, one thing I'm gonna say is we do use the harp a bit, and for reasons I'll explain later, the harp sucks! You don't understand! It's so bad. You know what? I think I could just demonstrate. Do we? Can we use the harp right now? I don't think we can. No, but we can use the harp later. And oh my god! It sucks! It's literally like, out of all the instruments in Zelda games, this is not just the worst, but it, wait, I think we can use the harp. You know, I want to demonstrate. Okay, in other Zelda games, you can do like certain directions to activate certain things. And this, no, you just do forced motion controls to make a noise. You can't even do like certain, like, like position, like Wind Waker, you can like point the Wind Waker in different directions to make different notes. Here, you just strum back and forth. You have no power of when notes appear. It just adjusts the speed. It's not interesting at all. And there's like even more reasons later why it sucks. One particular reason I have in mind, but we're gonna get into that later and get into other terrible things about Skyward Sword. Like we're coming up to one of the worst things about the game and why so many people complain. Huh? You gotta be kidding me, Granny! No, it's not Groose. Groose is amazing. Groose is love. Groose is life. <laughs> You're messing with me! Your hat is really pointy! I only, sp I only speak the truth. You are not the one who will save her. The spirit made in your Zelda can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do the thing, and in doing so saves us. As it was decided long before you were brought crying into this world, uh, see, I, I feel for Gruz here so much because I've personally been in the decision, I mean, in the, in the position where I want to do more things, but I'm told I'm not the one to do it. It makes me, like, resent the person that can do it because they seem more perfect and better than me. And I don't like that feeling, and I think that's what Gruz is feeling right now. Or I'm overanalyzing a Zelda game, but still. Gruz is just so amazing you can get this analysis from. God, Gruz is amazing. You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you know that if anyone's going to save Zelda, it's Cruz. See, I'd just be sad, but I guess he's angry, but I guess he has more confidence than me. How could it not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, why would I even be here? 
I'm not. If I'm not up to the job of being the hero, just who is? No. Huh? Me, bitch. Oh, now I get you. Link, Granny here has been trying to tell me you're gonna be the big hero, rescue Zelda. Seriously, poor guy. He wants Zelda, but Zelda likes like he wants to help Zelda, but he's told he can't. I feel so bad for him. What a bunch of jokers! Look, all I've heard so far is a bunch of babbling about destiny, but that's a load of garbage. I love he has jokes and bunch of in that same sentence, and he kind of looks like Ryan. I know you, and you're no hero, shrimp. Like my friend. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Whoa! But wait, this gets better. Greetings, Link. Were were you able to catch up with Zelda? Well, we talked, we saw her, but we couldn't literally catch up to her. Ah, I see. So the Guardian was there as well, was she? The one you saw by Zelda's side is known as Impa. She is an Ocarina of Time and Hyrule Warriors. She's pretty recurring, but she's not in Smash Bros. for some reason. The two have traveled somewhere in order to accomplish the great task Destiny has set before them. However, now that Impa has destroyed the gate that they used, there is only one way to left to find them. Oh, my mistake. Impa was also in, like, A Link Between Worlds and A Link to the Past. I'm not sure. Seriously, why isn't she in freaking Smash Bros? You must make use of the harp given to you by Zelda. Ugh! I don't want to use the harp! I know I'm harping on this, but I don't want to use the harp. Yes, I made an... What are you talking about? I, I, I just demonstrated earlier. No, I don't want to use the harp. Ugh, God. I know, I demonstrated this earlier. God, we get it. You can, oh my god, yes, you can go faster and stronger, slower, but you can do certain notes, it's so bad. Okay, fine, I'll go, okay, oh, I have to match the braid? It's not fun! It just uses motion controls, and it's frustrating! Okay, I'm matching the braid. Good, you learn fast. God, I hate it. I know, it's so annoying to use as well. Focus, I'm playing time with the pulsing, Oh. Ah, I don't want to use harp. Oh, God. Okay, so here's the thing about the harp. The only time you use the harp is for stuff like this, where you have to go along with someone singing. It doesn't have, like, um... It doesn't have, like, cool purposes, like Wind Waker, where you can teleport in Ocarina of Time, where you can change the time and stuff, or change the wind. It's just used when you're told to for the cutscene, and I'm so busy bitching about it, I can't get the timing right, because I'm so bad at it! <laughs> Goddess, because you were forced to. <sighs> the harp you hold is known as the Goddess's Harp. It is a divine instrument of goddesses who once watched over this land. I sound like the narrator. The melodies it brings to life have the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. The great slab standing before you is known as the Gate of Time. It is the last of its kind in existence, the only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. If you manage to open up the gate and pass through, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda. But you'll need to, of course, like every other Zelda game, do a bunch of random batting shit before you can go through it. Through your journey will put you in harm's way, Link. You must endure. It is your fate the chosen hero of the god- <laughs> You're shaking! I fear the seal has been broken! 
I expected that it would react to your summoning of the gate, but I never imagined the seal would break so quickly. Link, there will be a time to explain later. Right now, you must hurry to the bottom of the pit outside. And now we get into the terrible thing I was talking about Skyward Sword. Honestly, the harp is worse. Like, it was even... Like, I was just bitching because, like, you can't use it for gameplay purposes. It's only, like, used for the story. Like, when they tell you to do it, you can't just play it and, like, be at a warp somewhere or do some cool power. But playing it, I honestly remember how terrible... Maybe I'm just bad at it, I don't know. But I honestly remember how terrible I am at it. Whoa, what's with all the shaking? The whole ground is heaving. I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. I love his noises. Go <laughs> oh, quickly, Link. Check on all the steel spikes at the center of the pit. Oh, right, that's her voice, not the narrator. She talks like this. There's nothing natural about these tremors. That monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with caution. Uh, ignore the raspiness. I was so, like, exhausted from Bruce's voice. Okay, so watch what's about to happen here. This is literally so bad. I didn't, It's not even, like, that bad, but, like, for reasons I'll get into, like, way, like, in a, like, later on, it becomes bad, if you know what I mean. We must keep that beast from escaping that pit. It must not reach the temple. This is the imprisoned. Literally, the, one of the worst boss fights in any Zelda game ever. Actually, no, it is the worst boss fight in any Zelda game ever. But it's also one of the worst fights in any video game I've played. Like, it's up there with the final boss of freaking Sonic Generations. Which was, like, a terrible fight. Because, like... It, 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 I guess it plays fine, but firstly, it has a few things that I dislike. I dislike, um, um, I, I really dislike, uh, the, the, the timed fights. They don't make it intense, they make it, like, nerve-wracking and stressful, not in a good way. But also, the gameplay here is very uninteresting. You just run up, swing the, swing the toes. I mean, um, uh, Scaldera might have been, like, uh, like an unoriginal boss fight. But at least it had a cool, uh, like a unique, well not a unique concept, but a different concept than just slash the thing. I mean, how boring would Skeldera be if it just like, hey, just slash its eye a bunch of time. But no, instead you have to actually like chase it down this pit and throw a bomb in its mouth. Um, and Molderic, I, th I think that was the name of the Scorpion boss, it may have been easy, but it was fun. You had to like vacuum through a bunch of sand to find it. But no, this thing, you just chase. Literally, oh god, I went up too high. Literally, this is, it's also like a really... Um, boring battlefield. I think I said that. I think I said, um, I think I said this when I first got here, but I don't like the layout of this area. It's way too spirally and way too specific for the boss fight. Like, it just feels very unnatural. And also, it's just not, it just, the, the layout just makes it so freaking boring. And I don't even know where this thing is. I'm just so busy pitching. That's the thing. I like to bitch a lot about this game, like, especially in this thing, but it ruins my concentration. Like, with that heart thing earlier, I had to, like, be quiet so I could actually do it, because it's hard, and it's, like, and it's bad. And this is not hard, but it's bad. You're just slashing toes. Literally, you're just decapitating his toes and getting him to flip over. It's so freaking annoying. And also, sometimes... It's kind of badly programmed where you get, like, the way he falls, you can't actually get around. Unfortunately, we haven't had the case this time. And I'm not even getting the right camera angle! Oh, uh, remember, I, I, I think I said earlier, like, two seconds ago, that the boss fight isn't badly programmed. But now that I think about it, it kind of is. Dear God, this thing! And also, it's design. Like, aesthetically-wise, the Imprisoned is a very, very boring, like, visual, like, visually speaking, to look at. I just, like, there's actually absolutely nothing about this fight I like. Like, uh, like really. And now what do I talk about? Um, so he flashes red. That's pretty cool. 
But yeah, it's, it's just really easy, and, like, that must hurt having that, like, sword in his head. I guess that's why he's screaming and shouting and letting it all out. You know, let's see. I want to try something. No, no, I don't want to try getting hit by electric. Let's see if we can just do a swipe and hit everything. Nope, I can't. You know, oh, it's funny. I was about to say when I played, I, I'm used to, like, toes uh, shooting out hearts, but it hasn't this time. But, um, actually, that, uh, I got that suck in the toe shot heart as I was thinking about it. Um, there, we do get some, actually, no. I don't want to say anything about what I was going to say. Spoilers. Okay. Oh my god, camera. Is there no toes there? See, I can't even see where there's toes or anything. This is just not a good fight. Uh, an example of how to make the arena, like, make the fun fight. I mean, yeah, make the fight fun, not the fun fight. Was Scaldera. Like, that arena made, like, even though it was unoriginal, the arena itself made the boss fight interesting. This arena makes it even more annoying when I think they were trying to make it interesting. And I have to, and I have to stop getting hit by electricity. Okay, let's run this way. And now we're gonna hit the toes. Die, die, sir. Okay, now flip over. Wait, what? Where's the last toe? Where is the last toe? Where? Okay, okay. But, like, um, what I've been saying about the imprisoned isn't even, like, the worst thing about the imprisoned. The worst thing about imprisoned, I can't really say right now, which is what I was gonna get into earlier, because, um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that more when we get there, which will be, like, maybe, like, 10 episodes? No, probably match play, like 15 or so episodes. I'm not quite sure. It depends how things, these things go. Because, honestly, there's going to be a lot of side quests after uh, this uh, episode. Which we'll, 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 get, we'll get to when we get to him. Finally, this thing's defeated. spike with a skyward strike and restore this steel quickly i could have used a different adjective than strike because something that I, I i i try to avoid and it, that's bad is using the same word twice in one sentence because i try to avoid that because it's bad because it's redundant and stupid but anyway instead but we're gonna strike it with a skyward strike i could have said like hit the sword i know like we get into more like um phantom hourglass like stuff where you use like different motions to trigger the, the thing to happen. Like in Phantom Hourglass, you draw like an hourglass. This we're like using the motion controls to make a triangle. Not any other Zelda game does that besides Skyward Sword and Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Nice going, Link. Oh, I thought that was Groose that was talking. Not her. Though the impression had only just begun to awaken and break its balance, I'm impressed you were able to restore the steel, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you only have succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. Unfortunately, and I literally mean unfortunately, because this goes into why I hate this thing. The Behemoth you be back into confinement is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave way again and you'd soon and you'd all demise. See, okay, I'm gonna just say it. The seal does give away soon, and we do have to fight this thing. Like, three more times. No, I'm kidding. It's only two more times. But it could be six, because you'll see what I mean. And it's they don't add anything new. You're literally just fighting the same unfun boss three freaking times. It's it's so bad. Why couldn't they make us fight like Scaldera three times? Oh, poor Cruz in his eyes. Mm. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. How can a stone sleep? 
Rousing from its slumber will require great power, which will make you do more padding bullshit to be able to unlock it. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from your skyward strike. Might just do it. Ah, oh, sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gates. First, you and your sword must grow together. Lenny face? Farron Woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanayru Desert. I realize I've been saying Lanayru, but I realize it's actually Lanayru. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lines. Seek them out and purify your sword in their heat. Only after your flame has been tempered by these three fires will it be fully imbued with the great power for which you search. God, this voice is terrible. Cues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of a song into your to your people, the Ballad of the Goddess, which is also the name of the main theme of the game. These cues are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Return to Skyloft somewhere on your island is one of those is one of those whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. <laughs> I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. See, Gruce was upset, then he realized he's wrong. I just feel bad because he's in a bad position. I'm useless. But wait. Ah, oh, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in this. See, Nintendo could have just had Groose just be this comic relief who realizes he sucks. But actually, they give him his own purpose, and it's just so satisfying to see Groose be useful. It just, I just love it. And look, 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 look at this. Oh, no. I thought he was going to turn around and be like, huh? But no, he storms out. Oh, I feel so bad for the guy. Link, go now. Trust in fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. Jeez, so much fate. So much saying the same word in one sentence words. So I normally end the episode here, but there's actually one more thing I want to get into, and that's not what Fi is going to say. The Ballad of the Goddess, based on my projections, that this is likely the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony. Yes, that was the main theme of the game. I calculate an 85% probability that someone associated with the Academy will be able to provide inf additional information about this song. Again, before we, like, end the episode off, there's one more thing I want to get into. And I just realized I went the wrong way. Oh, no, I did go the right way. Oh, come on. I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless with this my terrible big font. Oh, poor Cruz. I feel so bad for him. Okay, he is acting like a child, but you can't feel bad. You can't help feel bad for him. Like the one guy he's been jealous of the whole time is like beating him to the girl and to the usefulness. It's like everything's perfect and he does nothing, but then he does something, which is really awesome. Let me see if I can catch these birds, which I won't show. Crap! Okay, let's just talk to Groose and see what he has to say. Sniff! I'm just a deadweight! What kind of use is that to anyone? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, poor, ba poor baby. Anyway, no, catching the birds and talking to Groose is not what I wanted to show off here. This is the thing I wanted to show off here. Great God! I have found some! Look! All those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. This has to be the right spot. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I cannot create beautiful tones if wild animals threaten to roll me down a hill. What can we do? It's simple. We catch the butterflies! <laughs> no, that's not what we need to do. I just wanted some butterflies. Let's catch. Let's see if we can catch the other before it flies away. Come on, get back here, butterfly! Uh, I probably shouldn't do this because this like 
is detriment. Okay, so here's what we need to do. This is probably no. I don't want to talk to. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Anyway, so this is probably the only. Like, I said the harp isn't very useful, like gameplay wise, but it does have its use, like where you could do it randomly for a purpose. Because um, if you see butterflies floating around, it triggers stuff like this gossip stone. Boing boing. That is it. <laughs> Wrong voice. I'm just gonna talk my normal one. That is it. One of those talking st oh, that's the Goron. One of those talking statues the ancient text spoke about. There is just no mistaking it. And by doing that, you can get various collectibles. But I could swear there's one other thing here that I wanted to do. Okay, it's my mistake. The thing that I wanted to show off, uh, we can't quite do just yet. I thought we could do it now, but we can't. So while they ca try to catch these birds, I'm gonna end the episode. Um, next time on Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're gonna be, um, we're not actually gonna, like, the, 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 the old lady said to, um, uh, look around and look for someone in Skyloft and to know where to go next. But we're not gonna do that, actually. We're gonna actually probably go around and do a bunch of side quests and stuff. So later.